Well, it's a first look through the lens of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope while taking a major glance back in time. Here to explain the images NASA dropped on us this week is Dr. Dan Koh, an astronomer at the Space Telescope Science Institute. He joins us now from Sweden. Good morning, Dr. Koh. Hi, good morning. Great to be here. Great to have you. This week we got to take a look at the first full color images from the James Webb Space Telescope, something the world has never seen before. Can you tell us why these images are so significant? Yeah, th these are just incredible. We're, we're so excited to finally be able to, to share these with you. Um, we're seeing what everything looks like in so much detail now. Um, we're seeing stars being born and, and dying and creating heavier elements and, and spreading them to other stars where we, um, we see water now um, around another planet um, really clearly for the first time. Um, and we're also seeing galaxies over 13 billion years back in time um, and seeing details that we could never see before in the distant universe. It, it, that's truly amazing. And we know Webb is brand new. It's infrared telescope. Can you just tell us how new this technology is compared to other telescopes like the Hubble? Yeah, I mean, so Hubble and Webb are going to work uh, together and complement each other. Um, at the infrared wavelengths, you can see through the dust um, to see where stars are being born. Um, you can also see more distant things because the, the light has been stretched by the expansion of the universe over billions of years to redder wavelengths, where we could only previously see the hottest uh, ultraviolet young stars, and we couldn't even see stars like our sun in the distant universe, and now we'll be able to see it all. Now, the James Webb is the most powerful telescope we have right now in orbit. Could you tell us what we could expect from future observations as we look deeper and deeper into space? Right. I mean, this is only the beginning. Um, there, there's so much more to come. We haven't even done the science on these data yet. Um, so look forward to a lot of exciting uh, you know, press releases coming up on this. And then, you know, there's, there's hundreds of other science programs that are going to be observed, even just in the first year, um, looking at, at smaller planets, Earth sized planets around other stars, looking for signs of life. Um, and then looking back in the early universe to see if the star stuff we're made of was there in the early universe or, or how long it took to, to build up. This is our whole story. It's exciting to see these images. We're looking at some of them while you're speaking. Um, but what is the most exciting part for the science community? I mean, there, there's so many different parts, uh, depending on who you ask. And, you know, for me, I'm, I'm looking forward to the, the distant universe. Um, this, you know, this image you see behind me, um, you know, we, we, we discovered uh, the most distant star uh, recently, Arendelle, but my student, Brian Welch. Um, we're going to have a look at that. Um, some of the most distant galaxies known. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see also the first 400 million years of the universe that we've never seen a single thing, what it looked like. We're about to see it with Webb. Wow. And, and just personally, what's it like to be a part of this? It's amazing. I mean, this is a, a once in a generation type of thing, um, you know, similar to, you know, when Hubble was first launched and you know, we see all these beautiful pictures that, that everybody loves. Um, you know, this is uh, for the next generation um, to be able to see in, in just stunning detail. Um, and it's, it's amazing to, to be involved and to, to get to do all this exciting science. And we're looking at some of the animations of the uh, James Webb telescope right here on our screen. So if someone at home is watching this and, you know, they don't want to wait for the press release or the news headline, how could they be, how could they follow this uh, space telescope and the Institute? Right. To, to see more about this, go to nasa.gov slash web with two Bs or on social media at, at NASA web. Um, and you can see all the, the amazing images and, and make sure you zoom in and see all those beautiful details. Um, and there, there's so much there already. Yeah, the high resolution is really amazing. Dr. Dan Coe, an astronomer at the Space Telescope Science Institute. It was a pleasure speaking with you this morning. Hopefully we speak with you soon. Absolutely. I'd love to do it. Thanks so much.